This is 1942 Type 1 Jefferson Nichols struck on a silver alloy planchet, highly sought after a wrong planchet coin even in such massively worn and circulated condition. Greeted as Good 6 by PCGS, 1940s redated cents struck on copper planchets bring spectacular prices but similar wartime wrong alloy transitional errors on Jefferson Nichols are significantly rarer. The present lot is struck from Sands Mintmark Type 1 dies. It is struck in the silver alloy composition associated with Type 2 design bearing a large P Mintmark above the Monticello. This lightly marked cream gray example displays wear on motifs, but the legends are fully readable and show only slight blending with the rim. It was sold for $9,987.50. Number 6 here is 1916D Mercury Dime in extremely fine 45 condition. According to Heritage Auction, the 1916D is considerably more challenging to find in choice extremely fine condition than it is in lesser or finer grades. This excellent collector's grade example is eminently attractive with smooth silver surfaces and rich grey accents surrounding the raised elements, sharp from stem to stern. The motifs are well defined and the eye appeal is strong. CEC endorsement confirms these key dates, high quality for the assigned grade. It was sold for $9,000. Number 5. This is 1943 Washington Quarter with double die obverse, graded as AU58 by PCGES. AU stands for About Uncirculated, the highest grade designation for circulated coin. In God We Trust and the date are strongly doubled, as are initial letters in Liberty. Lustrous and minimally abraded, with delicate almond gold and stone grey toning. It was sold for $10,281.25. Number 4. Moving on with his wartime penny, 1944 Lincoln cents struck on a leftover steel planchet, the product of famous transitional slip up. 1944 cents struck on leftover steel planchets are known from all three mints, but those from Philadelphia Mint are the most often seen and ideal choice for collectors seeking a single representative of the error. The higher Philadelphia population is due to the fact that at the facility leftover steel sand planchets from 1943 were still in active use to produce Belgian two-franc coins, creating a wider window of opportunity for errant planchets to become mixed with normal bronze sand planchets. PCGS assigned clean designation with AU details for this error coin and it was sold for $16,800. Number 3. This is 1983 Lincoln Sand struck on a copper planchet graded as AU55 by PCGS. The typical 1983 cent is copper plated zinc and weighs 2.5 grams, a transitional alloy mint error akin to its more famous 1943 bronze predecessor. A possible explanation is that copper planchet became wedged in a hopper or mint cart during early 1982 and was finally dislodged the following year. A lightly circulated and moderately abraded mint green and chocolate brown example, Luster illuminates the legends. It was sold for $16,450. Number 2 here is 1930 S double eagle or $20 piece, heavily worn coin graded as about good 3 by PCGS. The 1930S is among great melt rarities of the late St. Gaudens Double Eagle series. Roger Burdett ranks this issue as the third rarest in the entire series, with an extant population of only about 75 coins. This issue did not circulate and the only examples surviving are those that were acquired directly from the mint cashier or were left over from the annual essay. The majority of 74,000 pieces struck were melted in 1930s. This example fetched a sum of $44,400. Number 1. This is 1943 as Lincoln Sands struck on a bronze cent, graded as VF35 by PCGS. 
In 1943, the United States Mint transitioned from using copper for Lincoln cents to zinc coated steel due to the shortage of copper during World War II. These steel cents are commonly known as 1943 steel cents. However, some copper planches from the previous year, 1942, were left in the coining process. These leftover bronze planches from 1942 were used to strike a small number of 1943 Lincoln cents in error. The 1943S Lincoln cent struck on a bronze planchette is considered a major error coin. This error occurred because the bronze planchettes were never intended to be used for the 1943 coinage. The rarity and mystique surrounding this coin have led to intense demand among coin collectors and enthusiasts. The combination of its error status, historical context, and limited availability make it a must have for serious collectors. This one ended up selling for hundred and forty one thousand dollars thanks for watching this video till the end your likes comments and subscriptions are highly appreciated stay well and see you in the next episode